Welcome back, everybody, for the fifth year of Musical Mondays. Retour, bon retour à tous pour la cinquième année de Lundi Musical. I am so glad to have you all here. So, we are, on commencera avec un spectacle uh, vraiment par excellence ce soir. I'm really excited about our show. We are coming to you from the Heritage Barn, La Grange à Maison Fairbairn House, and you can also listen in uh, at the uh, WKFLD Community Radio. And I'm Jill Rick, and I'm okay, really, I'm fine, just fine. I would like to acknowledge our appreciation for the use of this unceded Algonquin territory. Uh, je veux reconnaître notre appréciation d'avoir cet événement sur le territoire algonquin non cédé. Uh, and at the end, you can still click on our virtual pass the hat. Uh, just imagine that you're seeing me come around to you and you just click on fairbairn.ca. À la fin du spectacle, nous passerons le chapeau de façon virtuelle. Uh, consultez sur le site web uh, fairbairn.ca. Les fonds amassés iront uh, 80% à nos musiciens et aussi pour appuyer le Maison Fairbairn. So about 80% goes to our musicians and so you get to donate and support uh, the Maison Fairbairn. Uh, so, it is our honor to start off the season with our own Ian Tamlin. Au dernier décompte, Ian a produit 44 albums. Ses derniers albums, Let It Go et Tena Gadino, sont sortis en 2018. Ian a également écrit plusieurs pièces de théâtre. La production la plus récente est None of It. Even Ian Tamlin hardly needs an introduction in these parts. At last count, Ian has released 44 albums, and his last two albums, Let It Go and Tena Gadino, were released in 2018. As well, Ian has written several plays, the most recent production being none of it. For tonight, Ian has fashioned a set with a Ghosts of the Past theme in keeping with the barn itself. So sit back, fermez les yeux, imagine Park Fairbairn full of friends, je vous présente Ian Tamlin. Buy tamarack and rusted car Wind and sleet through crowded bar Come by chance near and far Wind through the Tuckamore The aqueducts of shanty town White pine hurling river down The pointer boat drifts through your town Wind through the Tuckamore Wind through the Tuckamore Bend and shaped by ocean roar Tamarack, the old floor and he set the dust to fly in went through the Tuckamore been and shaped by ocean roar tamarack the old pine floor and he set the dust to fly in Alaman left Alaman right swing your partners to the night circle eight now promenade that plow boy don't be late The snick of skeet that cuts the night Trim the wig, cherish light Curl the cat to winter's bite Wind through the Tuckamore By a will-o'-wisp and firefly Dolly Varden caught my eye In the Creole boys by and by Wind through the Tuckamore Went through the Tuckamore, been and shaped by ocean roar, Tamarack, the old time floor, and he set the dust a flying. Went through the Tuckamore, been and shaped by ocean roar, Tamarack, the old pine floor, and he set the dust a flying. Half a man left, half a man right, swing your partners through the night. 
and promenade Sweet that cowboy don't be late But tamarack and roasted car Wind and sleep the crowd bar Come by chance near and far In through the Tacamore Welcome to Musical Mondays. It's kind of weird, I have to admit. I mean, I'm used to seeing you out in front of me, you know, playing around and throwing a frisbee and having a nice glass of wine under the trees or, you know, maybe even a cow wandering around. I don't know. And you're not. But you're at home and hopefully enjoying... Uh, whatever you might be enjoying. I, I don't want to go there uh, right away, but here we are in this barn, and I like to do this song called Ghost of the Homestead, um, which started a long time ago in Peterborough. I was working on a century farm there. I grew up in Thunder Bay, and s Saturday nights there would be barn dances out in Slate River, and I went out to hear a country singer. She would play every Saturday night or so. Her name was Myrna Laurie, and I would be up in the hayloft watching Myrna Laurie and, and her brother Fred, who was uh, the violin player. And so here we are in the barn, and so it, sort of like when I was thinking about doing this, this show, I was thinking about ghosts. And it seems like people who build museums or a place like this barn is a place where ghosts can safely live and not feel haunted. They belong here, in fact. And so this is where this song comes called Ghost of the Homestead. Just going to check my tuning. Close enough. The ghosts of the homestead, they're dancing. Fiddler's tune, it cuts through the air. The ladies in gingham, the buckboards of rye. And it seems like the whole darn township is there. Alleman left now, Alleman right. Swing your partners now, doves and doves. Up in the hayloft, young lovers are hiding. Watching the square dancers reel down below. And off in the corner, two neighbors are talking about this year's crop and the winter to come. Just fall there, I hear ladies laughing As the caller cries out The home waltz has begun Off into the night I see buggies depart As the lamps wink out One by one The last echoes of laughter Turn night into dawn There'll be no sleep tonight For there's work to be done And I'm walking the day to the homestead in ruin the wind bangs the shutter against bleach clapboard walls. Ties twisted up halters and old harrow rusting. Fire busted up hames, the stalls still awaiting. That's about all that's left of the homestead now. I stopped by the barn It was like someone had grabbed me And a whisper behind me said Please come on in As I 
I turned to the door, I heard fiddling and laughing. As I turned again, all I heard was the wind. Hello, man, left now, Hello, man, right. Swing your partners now, do si do. This is the coast of the homestead, are dancing tonight. And I guess for them, there's no place like home. No, I guess for them, there's no place like home. It's funny, you know, when you're thinking about songs and where I was when I was doing that song. When I worked on that Century Farmhouse in, in Peterborough, I grew up in northwestern Ontario. I didn't know what stinging nettles were. And I was pulling out these hames and, and uh, things, whipple trees, words I had never even heard of, by the side of this barn. And I was in these stinging nettles. Like, and all of a sudden, it was just like, I could couldn't believe the sort of electrical pain that was going through me. You know, these things need to be remembered as well. You know, these are life's lessons that you need to learn so that you don't do it a second time. But I have. This next song is called Last Log on the River, and it's just outside here on the other side. Uh, I was sort of one day singing by the Gatineau River, and I saw this log come down. Maybe it had been you know, some of the water change at the Pogan Dam or something like this. But the log was from the logging era. And it closed down in 1993-94. Uh, they cleaned it up. But there's still these logs, which are beautiful reminders of very fast motorboats that you might slow down a little bit and enjoy the past on the river rather than you know, uh, waveboarding or something like that. I just, it's a political song, I suppose. But anyway, uh, this song's called Last Log on the River. And, uh, well, I'm going to dedicate it to uh, uh, Dick Cooper and uh, I'm thinking Ken Walsh, who spent so much time last year building this barn that, that we're in. Uh, and so here we go. <laughs> Last log on the river Ghost to the past drifting down No sound of the axe blade or timber None of the lift of the log driver's song Last log on the river Last log on the river Drifting around the bend No rush to deliver No tumble of rapids of men Last log on the river, last log on the river. No more the shanty man's song, sung across the valleys of winter, curved in the white pine down. Last log on the river. Last log on the river Drift past the shimmering pines The land now healed surrenders To echoes of another time Last log on the river Something found in the moss A cable, a blade discovered From a time almost lost Last log on the river Slow the motorboat down and take some time to consider. Once was the past almost gone. Last log on the river. Last log on the river. Last log on the river. I'm going to move over to the Hammer Dulcimer now and play you a piece that was uh, written in. British Columbia 
a place just north of, of Prin Prince Rupert. And uh, I was there diving uh, with a group of Americans, and uh, it just, uh, the valleys and the, the different shades of teal green to, to dark blue to dark, just sort of going back into these fjords with a mist involved was absolutely spectacular. And uh, so that's where the idea for this song came from. This next tune, I'm just going to retune my guitar here. And it's now time to kind of thought, I thought, it, you know, we start here in the, uh, in the barn, and then we go somewhere. I like going somewhere, and so I decided this sort of being at this time, it's pretty warm. In fact, it's quite warm, and in fact, it's uncomfortably warm. And so I thought we'd go to the Arctic and cool down a bit. And so this is a song called Gather Me Round. And uh, it comes with uh, some slides and images that I've taken over the years. And the kind of the reason I'm doing this song tonight uh, is because last year was my last season in the expedition business. Uh, I'm not, um, my direction is uh, sort of changing. I, I'm still sort of adventuring. I'm going to Lake Superior next week. 
but um, the trips, I want to do more sort of solo trips and not with 200 people. I like the 200 people, but it was time. So this song is called Gather Me Around, and it's basically a song about uh, excitement, the excitement of being in the north, and uh, just how spectacular it was. <laughs> My favorite town in Nunavut happens to be a place called Kimaru. So every time I sing this song, I go back to Kimaru. Scree fall on a blasted landscape, people but as big as a grain of sand, say rocks tossed by a mighty hand, gather me round. Eyes for moving in a northern ocean, living, breathing in a constant motion. Pull from me a thing once frozen, gather me round. Smiling faces on the beaches, I'm a world beyond their reach now. How can I say that what I seek is here, right here? Smiling faces on the beaches. I'm a world beyond their reach now How can I say that what I seek Is here right here Gather me round The lichen moss and the bowhead bones Nothing left but a ring of stone May we walk so light In the world we roam Hey ya, uh, hey ya uh. Mystery speaks in a nook shuck standing a Mystery speaks in a tongue at talking a Mystery speaks in a throat singer chanting Hey ya, uh, hey ya uh. Hey ya, uh, hey ya uh. Smiling faces on the beaches I'm a world beyond their reach now How can I say that what I seek Is here, right here Smiling faces on the beaches I'm a world beyond their reach now How can I say that what I seek Is here, right here Gather me round Lichen moss and the bowhead bones Nothing left but a rig of stone May we walk so light in the world we roam Hey ya, hey ya 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 Last night, you know, I watched this movie called The Grizzlies. It was a pretty good movie. Maybe a bit soft at the end. Check it out. I'm just going to move over to another guitar, uh, and excuse me. This next one, I'm accompanying a video, a video that was taken by Bill Leishman, 
and Bill Leishman, uh, you may sort of recognize as Father Goose. He was a guy who was from uh, just north of Oshawa, a place called Blackstock, Ontario, and he flew ultralights. And so he taught geese how to fly south, and then he had a huge campaign flying um, whooping cranes south. And it was quite an amusing film in a way, the documentary anyway, because all the support staff had to dra dress up as whooping cranes. And it was, and uh, I went flying with him, and he put me, he had one, uh, he had several uh, ultralights, but he had one that had a, a bar down the middle of it, and he was back there, and he put me at the front of the bar. Like, in the middle, like, there was nothing. In front, there was just air. And I'm sitting in there, and then he swoops down on these cornfields. Oh, it was, it was uh, frightening. But it was exciting, too. And he's quite a character. And so he, I had been, where this is done, I had been driving Zodiacs. This is in a Lulasat. And he had set up a video, and he was taking this, these shots when all of a sudden something happened. I wasn't there at the time. I had left. But this iceberg that I had driven over all morning was wedged between two other icebergs. It was d underneath the water. And it came up and it rose up 250 feet in the air. Where? And he just took it. And you, in his video, he's going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And, the, and in, what, in the video that you'll see, the tsunami is, I'm sorry, I, I'm an old guy. Uh, let's say it was f the tsunami was about 45 feet high, about 15 meters, let's say. And so uh, I remembered that footage being done, and we were just knocked out by it. And so years later, I wrote this song. And he had been trying to, to sell it to somebody. It was unsuccessful. So I said, can I use it? And so he let me, let me use it. So this is where uh, uh, Listen to the Waterfall comes from. And are we ready to cue that up? Give me a cue. Never thought I'd see the fires burning Never thought I'd see the giants fall Once they're gone, there's no returning Listen to the waterfall Listen to the waterfall Never thought I'd see the slow disaster Never thought I'd see the giants fall Once they're gone, there's no hereafter Listen to the waterfall Listen to the waterfall is broken there's beauty in each one white towers shining in the sun mm. when the dikes are built in New York City and the water is lapping at walls Will you hear me singing? Listen to the waterfall. Listen to the waterfall. Listen to the waterfall.
I have no idea whether that lined up or not. I hope that it did. Uh, but right now in Alulisat, there's tremendous amount of, of, there's like 10 times the production of ice coming out. But when I first started going there in 94, 95, there were huge towers of ice. But now what's happened is the ice is breaking up in the glacier because of rainfall. And so they're all is breaking up and shattering. And so there, there's more production. And, and yet the icebergs are smaller and smaller. They're still gigantic, but not like uh, before. And that past will never, well, probably it won't come back again, unfortunately. And when I first started that, they, they said, okay, well, it, the, it might ground out by 2100. By that, I mean it might stop producing icebergs. That prediction is now maybe 20 or 15 years from now. And that's happened that quickly since 95, 96 to now. You can go to, I remember going there looking for a hanging glacier that we saw three years before we came back and it was two kilometers up, up the mountain. It, so it is happening <laughs> and it's uh, the only sort of, well, I can be very optimistic in some sense. You, you can take the ice and snow away from the Arctic, but it still b will be the Arctic. It's still an, an indomitable force. It's huge and it's, and the people there are huge too. As you know, folks, I do flap on, but I'll just do this song. This is a song, I think, I'm just gonna make sure it's a brand new song, and it's kind of in inspired by this time. I was at the sugar bush this spring, and there was a beautiful day where the, the mist was coming off the snow, and I looked, and the trees looked like human beings coming across the field, like they were like shadows. And so, uh, this is where the song. I strain to see you Pain or mind, be at peace I'll be there And in the midst of it all In the twilight In the midst of it all And at dawn I see you there before me I'll be there, be with you Before long and when the morning light come rising in the fields above the snow and the trees peer through the shadows comes the only one I know for now I see you walking you are walking by my side through the mist the sun now burning and in time this will pass by and by in the mist of it all I won't fail you it's quiet it's really quiet in this room uh, and um, any performer, uh, 
I have to think of this as like a radio show in some sense, and you people are out in the ether. So I'm reaching out across the ether uh, uh, to you now, just very much like I used to do when I was in high school. I used to stay up till three or four o'clock in the morning with my hand on the radio, listening to WS LS in Chicago, hoping that I would hear one more time the Cascades singing, listen to the rhythm of the falling rain, telling me just what a fool I've been. I wish that it would go away and let me cry in vain. Uh, and I've been in touch with the guy, his, his name was Gummo, he, and he still makes a, a, a career out of, out of singing that song. Anyway, um, I digress. And I'm going to go to the next song now. And this is um, a song called Should I? It's another new song. And I, I just want to check my tuning here. Uh, if you could uh, go out and get another frosty one from the fridge while I do this, uh, we'll be all right. How's that? Uh, I know it's an embarrassing, and I, I don't like leaving dead air. Uh, so I'll try to talk with it. Volley was always very good at it. I was always kind of shitty at it. But uh, I'm trying to tune and talk at the same. Oh, I've. I know, I know, it's, this is, maybe young folks shouldn't hear that. I apologize. This is, um, again, because I, I've sort of retired from the adventure business, there's some places that I love going, and last year I went with this ne'er-do-well character that you may know in, in, in Wakefield, two of them actually, uh, the worst being Pat Marr. Uh, I mean, I, I took him on the road with me thinking that he'd be well-behaved, but he wasn't, of course, you know. Uh, it was just... It, it, it wasn't a disaster, but uh, he fell in love with Ireland, and the, uh, well, the Irish fell in love with him. You know, he's a wee bit of a leprechaun. And then we went uh, to Scotland, and who comes along but Bobby Watt, big blustery Bobby Watt. And uh, you know, S Scotland's you know has has got room for a lot of people, but I'm not sure that there was quite enough for Bobby. But he was very happy to be home. Uh, and so this song is uh, sent to Scotland. I'm going to dedicate it to Pat and, uh, and to Bobby, who mercifully I'll never travel with again. Get back to the Isle of Fula. I won't take my comfort there and spend my days in quiet labor and let the time unfold. Should I get back? Mm, should I get back? I get back to that bay sky I will find the cabin there And spend my days with the seals and the seabirds Learn of sky and sea and air Should I get back? Oh, should I get back? I get back to St. Kilda. I won't watch the Gannet sail. I have seen a village there beyond the mist, beyond the pale. Should I get back? Should I get back? There is a tomb I know on Iona Where I've glimpsed the other side A thousand years of prayer I've seen there Let those prayers be my guide Should I get back? 
before should I get back? It's time to change the guitars again. And this guitar that I'm going to play for you now, uh, ins it inspired this song. The song is called Wood Smoke and Oranges. It's a fairly old tune, and I'll be heading up there to Lake Superior where the song was born um, next week. And I'm looking forward to spending a month on Lake Superior. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and so I'm doing it. And sort of get into, get into that lake in another way. And this guitar, the sound of this guitar, inspired it. Just whenever I play the guitar, I'm back on the North Shore of Superior. I don't know what it is about it. It's maybe because the shore of Superior is called the Haunted Shore, and there's something about this guitar, just the sound of the high string guitar that, that brings that forward. Anyway, this is the song. smoke and oranges, path of old canoe, I would course the inland ocean to be back to you. No matter where I go to, it's always home again, to the rugged northern shore and the days of sun and wind. In the land of the silver birch, cry of the lone, there's something about this country, it's a part of me and you. We know Sir Inman by Pekasa, out for 15 days to set cattle in the spirit at the mercy of the waves. The Wanigans were loaded down and a gift left on the shore. The best that we surrender to the rugged northern shore. In the land of the silver birch, cry of the lone, there's something about this country, it's a part of me too. Of the silver birch, cry of the snow. There's something about this country, it's a part of me and you. The waves smash the smoky cliffs, full woman bay, where we fought against the back swell, and then we're on our way. Talk to your spirits. By the vision pits, we saw them walk the agate beaches, the mighty gargantua in the land of the silver birch, cry of the lone. There's something about this country, it's a part of me and you. I turn my back upon these things I tried to deny. The 
coastline of my dreams, but it turns me by and by. It tossed the mighty ship around, it smashed the lighthouse door, sends shivers up my spine, the rugged northern shore, in the land of the silver birch, cry of the lone. There's something about this country, it's a part of me in June. By wood smoke and oranges, path of old canoe, I would course the inland ocean to be back to you. No matter where I go to, it's always home again, to the rugged northern shore and the days of summer. A piece called Gift Left on the Shore, and it's usually uh, when you're on Lake Superior, and oh, this is just a tradition that uh, friends of mine and myself has observed. When you go to the lake, it's good to acknowledge that the lake is bigger than you are. And so it's good to sort of humble yourself in some sense, and also jig yourself, realign yourself to a prudency that that lake is a, a place where it's very powerful, and you sh should be careful with it. And also, there is a um, kind of important sea creature out there. He's called Mishibishu, or the sea lynx. And uh, uh, I don't really want to run into him. Let's just say I don't want to run into him or her again. We'll just leave it at that. And maybe should we meet somewhere I could tell you the whole story, but we'll leave it at that. So I'm gonna go and grab another guitar here. Uh, I just have, happen to have 10 of them. And uh, this one, uh, I'm just gonna check here. Uh, this song comes from uh, Sable Island, and we're just coming around to the, towards the end here uh, of the evening, I, I hope. Uh, this is, I've just got a signal there from beside the stage here uh, on Algonquin territory, I might add. Just, as, just sort of as a ramble on, here we are in the barn, 
and I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard it's true, that at the north end of Wakefield, around 1900, there were a group of Algonquin who lived here. And then they went further north and probably, I don't know, I'm guessing here, but maybe ended up in, in uh, the Kitigan Zibi uh, Reserve in Manawaki. And so we're very close to the place where uh, Algonquin people did live here. Maybe just, God forbid, in Vinyl Village. But oh, I'm, I, the people there are lovely. Uh, just, I'm just saying, just saying. I, I couldn't get through this concert without putting my foot in my mouth, could I? <laughs> So this tune comes from Sable Island, and I'll thank you very much uh, for joining me tonight um, here at Fairburn Barn. I'd like to thank all the people who you don't see. Um, uh, Owen, uh, Dale, uh, Seb, uh, Chris, Pat, Helen, uh, all here being very quiet, and Jill Rick, who is remarkably quiet. Uh, and so there she is. And so uh, have a good evening, everyone, and uh, we'll see you out and about and hope that maybe later this summer or I don't know, good, I don't know what Legault's going to do, but maybe by the end of the summer we will be meeting on the hill. Who knows? We can hope, but thank you very much. Uh, this song was written and it's called Let It Go and uh, Let It Go uh, is directed myself. I should just turn Facebook off and and just hope for the best in November. Full moon through the clouds tonight Ghosts whisper on the sea The horses will wander in the mirror grass The iris quiver in the breeze White sands move to reshape this world Grain by grain, endlessly Tomorrow will not be what it was today. It will be what it will be. Let it go. Let it all fall away. Fools may claim to rule this world, but the sun, the sand, the sea will have its way. Footsteps fall much slower now As I kneel by starry falls The Solomon seal and the bayberry Know it has been lost But they grow amongst lost sailors And they grow amongst the seals And they grow through the horse's bones and they wave across these fields. Let it go. Let it all fall away. Fools may claim to rule this world, but the sun, the sand, the sea have their way.
Did it all fall away? Fools may claim to rule this world, but the sun, the sand, the sea, the moon, the sand, the stars will have their way. Thank you all, and good night. Ready? Ready for me? That's how they keep me quiet, <laughs> is by cutting my mic. <laughs> uh, Please, everybody, give a wonderful round of applause in your many, many places so we can feel you after the show. We want to hear your applause in all these homes. Thank you, each and every one of you, for attending. Uh, merci à tous. Uh, et uh, uh, maintenant, on veut uh, remercier les investisseurs publics. We want to thank our public funders, MRC des Collines and Municipalité de la Pêche. Uh, and here's, here's the, the important part, guys. Uh, it's time. Just remember on the hill when we come up to you and you have all your change, well, now you can be really big bucks because you can do it online. Please show your support and go to thefairparent.ca. And there is a little button that says you can donate. Uh, vos dons sont bien, bien appréciés. Consultez le site web fairburn.ca et suivez les consignes pour le chapeau virtuel. Uh, our upcoming show la semaine prochaine is The Classical Village with Franny Bray Marks, Fanny Bray Marks and David Marks. And you can find out all about our upcoming performers. Tous nos musiciens prochains sont sur fairbairn.ca All of you have a great evening and we'll see you soon next week. Bye-bye.